Well, at Seven Peoples, I am here to be doing the tough finale predictions for season eight, and that's about it. Um, I we have um the UFC.com um reference sheet here, not the actual predictions, so it's going to be in a little different order from on the site. Anyway, first off, I'll do bottom to top. Even though I do think, even though these are out of orders and not all of them will be on the main card in these orders. Anyway, first up, from bottom to top, we have Ryan Bader versus Vinicius Malhagis or Malhaes. Don't know how you pronounce it, but I'm picking. I was going for Bader, for Ryan Bader because I like him and I think Vinny's kind of a dick, but not that big of a dick. But however, Vinny is. The Damien Meyer of 205, I would say, and I just see him submitting Bader, maybe not as quickly as he has in anybody else, because I think Bader is a it, Bader's obviously the stronger wrestler, so I think he will submit him in the early second round. That's my prediction for that fight. Next up, we have Judy Browning versus Dave Kaplan. Uh, I'll get. All the hype with Juni Allen Browning. Yes, he's a drunk. Yes, he's annoying. Yes, I don't see anything good about this motherfucker. I just have to say it. I just don't find him good in any aspect or any potential in this guy. Not just because of his mind, it's just that he's just. Everything just seems to be lacking for, for him. Like, mental aside, he just doesn't seem to be that good of a fighter. I think Dave Kaplan easily submits him in the second round. And I really hope that I that we don't see Junior ever again. Next up, we have Christoph Szczynski versus Shane Prim. I am picking Christoph to TKO him in the third round, third or second round. My probably going to be changing that to second because Christoph is kind of a little bit explosive, more explosive than Shane. I think he's a lot more experienced, despite we, you know he's being a little bit older. But I don't think that's going to come into play. Except Elliot Marshall versus Jules Boucher. Um, Elliot Marshall is going to choke the fuck out of this motherfucker because Jules only has like, I think he only has. I don't think he I think he even has has one fight on his record. I think he just has none. And also, he just hasn't really been that great on the show. So Elliot Marshall, by whatever the hell he wants, I'm picking tap out because he is a black belt, and I don't know his credentials on striking. If you can tell me that. Next up we have Kyle Kingsbury versus Tom Lawler. Tom Lawler is going to beat the crap out of Kyle Kingsbury on the ground because Kyle Kingsbury um, has no ground game. Shane Nelson versus George Roop. Jo Shane Nelson, I picking him to win by a uh, UD because um, I think he's basically better at everything. Although George Roop, I think, has a lot more potential than Shane. So I'm um, George and. Georgia wins, it's not going to surprise me in any way. However, if this fight is finished, it, that's going to surprise me. Next up, we have Rolando Delgado and John Pulaski. I am picking Fruit Loops to win, or well, Lucky Charms, and the guy he likes to hug, John Pulaski, because he is awesome, and Rolando is the worst likely in the house, in my opinion. And I just think that he is just better, even though Wally well, might, can ha well, he does have the reach on him. I think John can easily just go beat him, and he's a tough guy. UD, John. Next up, we have Jason McDonald versus Wilson Govea. I'm in a lot of, I'm in the same boat with a lot of people. I don't like Jason McDonald at all, and I think Wilson Govea is going to choke him out in the second round. That's just it. Next up, you have Anthony Josh and knocking the hell out of Kevin Burns, finally. Next, you have Felipe Nova versus Efrain Escudero. A lot of people were saying Felipe is going to is going to dominate this fight, but it's going to take go to a decision. I am disagreeing, because I think Efrain is a better wrestler. I think he has a tad bit better ground game. Maybe a, he's sacrificing a little bit on the stand-up, but not much. And I'm, and I'm just picking Efrain, because I think that he is... By UD, gonna be a close UD, but 
I have faith in Ephraim because I just think that he is a better wrestler. I think he'll be able to control the fight a little bit more. Anyway, that's it on it. So that would mean that the winners will be Vinny or Ephraim if everything for me goes right. Peace out. And that's it.